in this animation we are going to learn the two terms important two terms one is called threshold wavelength and another one is called threshold frequency observe the animation very keenly here one virtual torch light is used with the help of the virtual torch light we are able to vary the or change the frequency of the incident radiation here at the bottom the wavelength is mentioned here as 800 nanometer initially the marking that is slowly moving from higher wavelength region to lower wavelength region when the marking is slowly moving the incident radiation wavelength also changes till it reaches 545 nanometer no electron will be ejected out when it is exactly reaching 545 nanometer that is the wavelength of the incident radiation is changed into 545 nanometer exactly at that particular frequency the first electron will be ejected out from the metal surface that is the wavelength which is required to remove the electron from the metal surface such wavelength is called threshold wavelength that is mentioned by the letter lambda not that is a threshold wavelength of sodium metal here sodium it is used as the negative cathode on which the radiation is made to incident 545 nanometer means the green color light that is made to incident on the metal the first electron is made to eject out from the metal surface with the help of threshold wavelength value lambda not threshold frequency can be calculated threshold frequency can be calculated by the formula nu not is equal to c by lambda not substitute the value c and lambda not finally we will be getting the value nu not nu not that is threshold frequency is calculated as 5.504 into 10 to the power of 14 hertz that is this is the minimum frequency which is required to remove the electron from the sodium metal surface here if the frequency is greater than the 5.504 into 10 to the power of 14 hertz or if the wavelength is lesser than 545 nanometer by that time what will happen now the electron which are ejected out from the metal surface they will gain the kinetic energy or you clear when the frequ frequency is further more increased or the, the wavelength is decreased the electron photo electron they will gain the kinetic energy with the help of the kinetic energy they are trying to move towards the anode exactly at the threshold frequency or at the threshold wavelength no electron clear will have the kinetic energy electron will be ejected out but the kinetic energy of the emitted electron will be zero so exactly at threshold frequency the kinetic energy of the photoelectron is zero so this is the observation that could be observed in this animation are you clear exactly at threshold frequency the photoelectric current will be zero are you clear if the frequency is greater than threshold frequency slowly the photoelectric current it starts increasing okay in this clipping in this particular uh, frame i have calculated the work function of the sodium metal here the sodium metals work function value is 2.27 electron volt 2.27 electron volt already we have calculated the value of nu not and lambda not in the previous slide how to calculate the work function in the previous slide in the animation when the incident wavelength is 545 nanometer 
at that time what happens the first electron is made to eject out look at the formula w is equal to h nu naught w is equal to that c that nu naught is replaced by c by lambda naught substitute all the required value planck's constant c value lambda naught value everything is substituted finally you are getting the answer as 0.0364 into 10 to the power of minus 17 joule that is called work function work function is nothing but that is a minimum energy which is required to remove the electron from the metal surface here the work function it is given in terms of joule how to convert the joule value into electron volt 0.0364 into 10 to the power of minus 17 joule that is to be divided by 1.609 into 10 to the power of minus 19 so finally after conversion you are able to get the answer as 2.27 electron volt that is a function of sodium metal the uh, work function value and then wavelength value everything is shown in the animation observe it understand it very clearly okay this is one of the excellent demonstration to understand how the photoelectric current changes with respect to the frequency here the light from the white light that is made to pass through the different colored filters first he uses the red filter through the red red filter red light alone is made to pass through the rest of the colors are restricted the, when the red light photon red light photon means longer wavelength radiation that is made to incident on the photoelectric cell the red light photon it does not have sufficient energy to liberate the electron from the metal surface therefore no electron is ejected out therefore there won't be any photoelectric current the photoelectric current is measured with the help of multimeter here the multimeter that is projected on the screen when the red filter is placed no photoelectron is emitted no photoelectric current is shown in the multimeter after that he changed the filter he removed the red filter later he is placing the yellow filter okay when yellow filter is placed what will happen the yellow photons they are having more energy than the red red photons so the red fo red photons they don't have any sufficient amount of energy but yellow photons they are having little bit greater energy than the red photons yellow photons they are capable of removing the electron from the metal surface therefore photoelectric current is slightly increased that is also shown in the multimeter so he is slowly basically increasing the frequency he is increasing the frequency by lowering the wavelength after yellow filter after the yellow light is used now he removed the yellow light he is placing the green filter when the green photon if it is made to incident on the metal surface more photoelectrons are you clear the kinetic energy of the photoelectrons will be further increased and automatically the photoelectric current also increases after green filter he is placing the blue filter when blue filter is placed blue color photon they will have more energy than the green filter by the time here the kinetic energy of the electron increased kinetic energy alone will be increased don't forget when frequency is increased kinetic energy of the electron alone will be increased when kinetic energy increases automatically the photoelectric current also increases so if you increase the frequency what will happen the kinetic energy of the photoelectron alone will be increased understand 